Hello and welcome to another episode of Wanna Be Entrepreneur. Today I want to go through the impact that having a new design in my climate change app Change It brought to the metrics, how it basically made the needle change. And uh, yeah, so I've I've made this release where I basically worked in the design of Change It together with my friend João Amaro that I already interviewed here before. He's also an entrepreneur and a very talented designer. And yeah, so the, the first version of the app was basically everything done by me. So I, I used, of course, the components that the React Native gives us, which are already well designed. But I have to be honest, I'm terrible. I'm really, really bad at design. I cannot look at one. I mean, I can look at the website and say if it's if I like it or not. But I don't know how to bring a website that I don't like visually to a website that I do like. And it was great to, to have his help. We worked hard for a week or so. And uh, we came up with basically a redesign. So the UI or the UX was basically the same for most all of the components, but much more pretty. And um, before a lot of people was telling me that having a good design was actually crucial to, to actually get a lot of users. But I, in my opinion, and I guess this is very controversial, I don't think that design is the most important thing. I think that the most important thing is, of course, the problem that the app is solving and then the UX, so how people use it, if it's, if it's intuitive enough. And then the design is there to amplify the features that you already have. So that was always my approach. I first tried to come up with interesting features that people like. I tried to see that I have some retention. So only when I got there and I was happy with these features, then I invested in, in the design. Of course, if I was a designer myself, I probably would have a different approach. I would start first with the design maybe, but as a developer, I first start with the product. I first start with the functionalities, but yeah, so let's go through the, the graphics. I have all of them open here in front of, of me in my laptop. And if you are a um, member or a supporter of this podcast, I will share these graphs in the buy me coffee platform. So you, if you're a supporter or a member, you can just go there and, and check them. And if, if so, I would uh, advise you to just go and look at these graphs as I go through this episode, because it might be a little bit easier. So I, I know that I did this release on the 9th of uh, July and uh, looking at the downloads, I can see that there is an increment, so daily downloads, and I can see that there is an increment, which is great. So it's not, of course, huge. It's not something that I can immediately see, okay, this made, I don't know, an increase of 100% or so, but I can see that before, for instance, here in the, in the end of June, I have an average of, it's hard to say the average, but like three, then two in the other day, then one. So I guess an average of maybe two downloads per day. And then after the release, I can see that I have a higher average of maybe four, yeah, four downloads per day. So double, double number of downloads, which is great. So definitely here, the new design helped in uh, in getting more, more traffic and getting more, uh, more people to download the app and to be honest, I don't, I don't know why. I think it might just be because of the store, because now I have other print screens or other screenshots in the in the Play Store. And uh, people look at the screenshots and they think, okay, I want to install it. And before they didn't, right? So I think that that definitely made an impact. Be and um, if I check also the number of uh, app shares, so I, I basically always try to track every click in the app and uh, everything that users do I try to mo to monitor it and I can see that the app shares so the number of times that people shared the app didn't increase it's uh, it's still basically the same so 
it the design didn't make an impact there so the reason why more people are downloading it it's probably connected to the play store and i can also have see that when you search for climate change or climate change app on the play store the my app change it pops up in one of the first top five or so so that's great so if more people search for it then they will find uh, change it and um, yeah one of my main metrics as well is the product link clicks so how many people go to the echo store and then click on the product and that i can also see that at an impact so i also rearranged the store it was only not uh it was not only a redesign but it was also a complete uh, different categories so i had more clearer categories I, I i spoke about this before in the in the previous episode so yeah i can definitely see that there was an increase of uh, clicks and um so before the release i had maybe an average of yeah again like two clicks or so per day and uh, again it probably doubled or even more than doubled i guess like now i have an average of five clicks per day or so and uh, having peaks that go to like 16 so that's great because this is my main metric so again it amplified that that feature that's really great Another feature that's very important for the Echo Store is the add to wishlist. So how many people add products to the wishlist and that also had a huge impact before almost no one would do this. And now I have daily people adding products to their wishlist in a daily basis. So that's also really, really great. And um, yeah, also uh, the last metric that I'm checking is actually the average engagement time. And here I, don't, I cannot see a big, big impact, to be honest. Um, so before I had an average of like maybe one minute, 30 seconds. And it's it's hard to see in the graphics because every day it's a bit different. I mean, I think it, yeah, it definitely increased. Yeah, it definitely increased a little bit. I can see that the lows are higher than the than previously. So it actually increased a little bit. But, uh, of course, I'm not expecting to see a huge increase because I don't have that many users anyways, right? So, I'm still in the 30 to 40 daily users. and uh, But I still could see an impact. So, my conclusion here is that definitely design is very important. But I still keep my idea that it's important if you have a good product so it's kind of an amplifier of your features and uh, helps people taking your app more seriously and another good example of that is that actually tomorrow i have already uh, i'm going to be interviewed for a podcast it's called nerd earth 911 is a climate change uh, podcast and we'll be talking about change it and I feel also more confident to share change it with the world, to share change it with potential, you know, podcasters or sponsors, because I'm more confident also in the design, you know. So I think that's also very important even for myself, because it looks more serious, it looks more professional. It's easier for me to approach other people and show them, okay, here is the product, because that's also the first impression when someone looks to the app for the first time, right? They don't know the features, they don't know anything, they only see the design. And if they don't like the design, they will discard the app. And that's probably also why I'm having more downloads. Because people, when they search for climate change, they see the app, they see the screenshots, and they immediately say, okay, this is something serious. Whereas before, they would see the screenshot and think, okay, maybe this is more amateur. And they would not even try the, the product. So I think that's actually a very, very good point, which is the design is also the face of your product so it's very crucial to attract people that still don't know the app because they will look at it and be more curious to to learn more if you have a better design yeah and that's that's kind of what i've learned again all of these graphs will be available on the buy me a coffee platform the link will be in the description of this episode i know it's not great or it's not something super special but it's a little incentive to also uh, motivate you guys to to support this podcast because i don't do ads and that's basically the only way i have to keep this podcast going is to yeah it's you the the listeners to support and uh, 
if you also want to become a member it's a four, four euros per month and you get access to a slack channel with all the people i interviewed it's super great we are there chatting and exchanging ideas so you can join us there also if you become a member and uh, yeah this was another wannabe entrepreneur see you tomorrow <laughs>